Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, AG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, check this out, man. We just got off a stream from, um, we, we just watched, uh, Xander Zayas versus Patrick Cicera and Bruce Shushu Carrington versus DeGracia. You know, that was a great fight. But, uh, as we, in the midst of those, in the midst of those fights, man, shout out to Shushu, uh, for the win and shout out to Xander for the win. Um, in the middle of those fights, man, there was, there was some, something that was reported that was kind of disturbing. You know, Ryan Garcia, uh, he was arrested, um, for damage to a hotel in Beverly Hills, according to ESPN and Mike Coppinger right here. So it says, uh, let's read it together. It said, boxing star Ryan Garcia was arrested Saturday for felony vandalism after a Beverly Hills hotel accused him of causing an estimated $15,000 in damage. That's nothing to a boss, you know, so he got big money. But anyway, a Beverly Hills Police Department watch commander told ESPN, Garcia, who's 25, was arrested at 5.45 p.m. After a driver who dropped him off at the Waldorf, at the Waldorf, excuse me, a story of Beverly Hills Hotel, uh, phoned police. Snitching? Snitch. <laughs> <laughs> According to police, the hotel decided to press charges once police arrived, though the specific nature of the damage in Garcia's behavior wasn't immediately clear. After he was booked at the Beverly Hills Police Department, uh, BHPD uh, jail, uh, police said Garcia complained of a medical issue and was subsequ subsequently transferred to Cedars Sinai Medical Center. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> he was taken by BHPD to a local hospital for evaluation and treatment, and to our knowledge, may be charged with public intoxication. Garcia's attorney, Darren Chavez, told ESPN. So basically, man, he's he's been he he, he damaged some property at at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He was, um, you know, a apprehended by Beverly Hills Police, uh, the p police department, and um, you know, this is kind of disturbing because you know, Ryan Garcia, you know, they they they, they point out that he said he complained about a, a medical me medical issue, and they, so they brought him for treatment. You know, this is the part where I I, I, I get bothered by Ryan Garcia and his, his antics, right? Because you know, if you could go look at my videos, man, it's, well, it's documented well before the fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, long before that fight transpired. You know, I always said, man, his erratic behavior, man, I think that we're actually witnessing Ryan Garcia going through some things, you know what I'm saying? I just think that he's able to compartmentalize very well. So that means he's able to, you know, have his mental problems and his, um, and fighting his demons while also being able to perform and, and, and maybe focus enough to, to still uh, practice, you know, and convince those around him that he's able to practice and, 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 and act accordingly as a professional boxer would as far as training goes. But then after, you know, some people would say, oh, no, and he, he, he's all right. And then him, him himself came out and said, oh, man, y'all thought I was crazy after after everything went well for him at the fight, right? Seemingly went well, you know, before the PED investigation and all that. He said, yeah, man, y'all thought I was crazy. Y'all are really crazy. I'm not crazy. I just played y'all. I played y'all for fools. Was this all an act? Hey, we have it pre-recorded months ago. I said, I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. So, if he's saying that he played you, played us for fools, and that he's trolling when things are going good, then when things go bad, you can't suddenly claim that you're actually going through something. So I don't like people playing both sides of the fence, man. You either outside or you on the porch, man. You got to pick one. Don't be straddling the fence. So it's kind of hard for me to defend them, even though I really do believe that we are witnessing the downfall of Ryan Garcia and him potentially imploding, man. I wish the young man the best. You know, I hope, hope he recovers from whatever he's going through. But I do think that he has something wrong with him. Not to give him an excuse, because I'm not with that, you know, but it's just hard to even give him that excuse or, or defend him in that, in that manner when he has openly came out and said that he'd be trolling and he'd be just doing whatever he wants to do. And you know what I'm saying? It's that he's not crazy, that we're crazy. So, you know, you just can't have it both ways. But hopefully, uh, you know, he gets through this episode and stuff like that. You know, uh, $15,000 of damage doesn't sound like that much for somebody uh, of, of, of his uh, uh, financial stature and stuff like that. But I do hope everything goes, goes well with him, you know what I'm saying? These progressively get better you know shout out to jamal charles who also went through a mental health episode too and i don't think mental health is anything to play with or pretend to have or you know what i'm saying or use that as an excuse or a crutch it either you have it or you don't it is what it is you know what i'm saying but appreciate y'all rocking me as always man i just want to drop this ryan garcia news on y'all and um yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think about it man i appreciate y'all rocking me remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets